Today we're going to be making a beautiful watercolor painting of an ocean shore. And if you have stuck with this series from the beginning with the other three landscape paintings, you have every skill that you need in your tool belt to be able to do this and do it well. If you weren't able to do those videos, click the link above my head right now and you can go to the beginning of this playlist and build off of your skills from step one and it won't be intimidating to do this painting. And remember, your artwork doesn't have to be perfect. The important thing is that we try and that we keep on trying. Okay, let's get started, you guys. First, for our dark teal, our ocean blue, I have Prussian blue and I also have Viridian hue, which is the green. This is my violet, which is also Prussian blue and also alizarin crimson, but it is a dark violet and this is going to be for our shadows. This sandy brown color that I'm about to mix is this golden brown that I'm getting from burnt umber and also yellow ochre. At the very end, we're going to be using our gouache white to bring up the white colors, lighten those highlights. So here we're coming in and making the shape of our wave with this brown color and then blending it out with lighter brown. I'm darkening the shadow here and this can really be whatever shape you want it to but this is the shape that I wanted to do, a nice big curve. Here I'm going in and removing paint with a wet brush. This is going to create some really interesting textures which is what I want. I want it to seem as if the waves have been pulling on the sand and creating interesting textures and feels. But this is just a basic removal technique. Here we're coming in with our sea blue and we're creating some chunky lines that we're not blending in here and but we are blending them down. We're getting thinner and thinner as we go. You can see I did a little wet removal with a wet brush to create some interesting kind of flowering textures. But it thins out as it goes down below because here is where the foam is. We're gonna keep this whole section here white, except for these textures which are adding shadow, making it look like rolling foam. These are random organic shapes that I'm making. And here you see I made it a little too dark so I'm diluting it to sort of lighten it and spread it out. These are showing shadows in the foam of the wave. And so we wanna keep the very bottom part totally white, but beyond that, you can decide what you want your random organic shapes to look like, or you can copy mine if you don't feel comfortable. The most important part is that we're not going too dark yet. We're gonna lighten things up, but we're just creating some volume, some texture, to make it look like this wave has really been rolling around as it comes onto the shore. And here I am just lightening them a little bit more with this wet brush and just spreading and blending out the color some more. I'm gonna put a little bit of our violet on the very edge, the very corner of the shadow of the foam. And here I'm just adding a little bit more texture. I'm adding a little tiny bit diluted brown on the very base of the blue part of the wave. And you see I started to create one extra line of a wave up above. And it's a very organic shape. It's not going to be very tall but it's part of the wave that's coming down. Here I'm adding some depth to the shadow in the foam and I'm using the sea blue to do that, that we made this dark teal and I'm just blending it out. Nothing is very sharp in this foam. It's all very bubbly and smooth and so you won't see anything super dark here. It's always gonna be blended out. Even here when I come in with this violet into the foam, I am going to start a little bit dark but then blend it out and you can pick to do this or not. You could leave it subtle and not come in with these violets. It's totally up to you. It would look great either way. And here I'm just blending it all out to create the look that we're wanting of this rolling foam. With our dark teal, we are making some more shadows under the foam and I'm trying to follow the textures that have already been made here. I'm also using dark teal to bring in more shadows, darker teal tones in the waves. And here I'm adding some violet to create even more depth. I'm using the violet sparingly because I still want the teal to come out and I'm only adding it in the places where I think would be the deepest shadows. Now is the fun part where we come in and we build up our whites with the gouache. I slowed it down here so you can see I'm not destroying any of my darks here, but I am going around them and making those whites whiter, but I'm also going through some of them to create a sort of spilling over effect, but I still want to keep the darks that are there to create this sense of volume and depth in the foam. 
but I will be coming through and building up these whites as we progress to the end of the painting just to get the shapes that I'm wanting these organic shapes imagine almost like a cloud that is connected and streams all the way across this rim of your wave here I'm creating these organic shapes and I'm just trying to get it just right with this white paint and I love that gouache lets us paint over what we do in watercolor and here I am creating highlights just a bit of shimmer on this extra wave that I painted and you notice that I don't paint it the whole way through there are some areas where maybe I imagine this part of the wave dips down a little bit so it's not getting that highlight from the Sun this is going to make this seem higher and define it more as this extra additional wave and here in the back I am very sparingly creating these organic lines so curved lines that go horizontally to create the impression of light shimmering on this back portion of the water as well now let's come in with that dark teal and make even more darker shades just making the color richer and trying to darken those shadows even more Let's also do a little bit more here in the foam. Now your painting may be fine like this, but for me I wanted to add more waves. So I came in with the dark teal and added a few more of these organic, these rounded, curved wave shapes just with the teal. And I'm deepening the colors even more with that same teal. Here are some more highlights that I'm adding with the white gouache. This next part is a dripping technique we do with very diluted watercolor. So I'm coming in with this dark teal, it's very diluted, so me moving this paper vertically so having gravity help me like this is what's going to help and also adding more water now I want this drip to be very light and you don't have to do this if you're too scared but because it is so diluted it's not going to make a huge difference on the painting so don't be scared but if you want it to be darker you can always add more diluted paint to cause it to drip but here I'm just adding water so that it's going to continue to be very thin, very light, and I'm just helping it along in places. Sometimes I'm getting the drips going if they're taking too long to drip down. Even shaking it can help it to come down. Here I'm wiping away the bottom parts of the drips, and here's some good old paint splatter to get some of that, that foam, that splashing water feel. In those same places where I have drips, I'm coming back in. I want it to be a little bit darker. And you can add this or not, it's totally up to you. So with that same teal, I'm just adding a little bit more paint. And then now with the brown sand, I'm just really darkening the shadow here. And this is just a matter of preference, but I'm preserving those great textures that we created and just following those. And here's just a little bit more of that paint splatter. I really like the look of that for ocean waves, but again, it's totally up to you. Here is our finished painting. Thank you so much for doing this with me. Everyone, you should be proud of yourself for working hard and completing it no matter how it looks. If this video blessed you, please tap that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to come on more creative adventures with us. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Be so blessed.